Hot toys are pieces of art, and today we're going to be looking at the 10 greatest head sculpts of all time. What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. As I said, we're going to be taking a look at, in my opinion, the 10 greatest head sculpts that Hot Toys has ever produced. But before we do that, I want to say thank you to the thousand plus subscribers that we have gotten this far. As I said, we're on our way to 2,021 subscribers and officially, we are halfway there. But there is a little bit of housekeeping that I need to talk about. You see that? Over 84% of the people that are watching these videos have not yet subscribed. So I want us to take a moment to do something really quickly. If you've not done so already, go ahead and hit me with that presumptive like and make sure to subscribe. You won't be disappointed that you did. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into the good stuff. With Hot Toys now revealing their 600th movie masterpiece figure, that being the suit up Iron Man Mark V, which looks incredible. One thing is crystal clear, Hot Toys makes a lot of figures. And as with any company with a body of work that large, some collectors are going to naturally gravitate towards certain figures and others will receive a lot more scrutiny. The head sculpts in particular can be very divisive and often sometimes controversial. With this particular list, I hope to be able to narrow some things down and show you, in my opinion, what the 10 best hot toy sculpts are to date. First on my list is the Battle Damage T-800 from T2 Judgment Day. Released back in 2012 as part of the DX line, the DX13, specifically for this figure, you knew Hot Toys would be bringing the goods. With this, as you can see, two amazing Arnie head sculpts. The detail underneath the skin showing the endoskeleton is mind-blowing and a worthy addition to this top 10. Next up is Jor-El from The Man of Steel. This stunning likeness to Russell Crowe is released back in 2014. And for an older sculpt, this has certainly aged pretty well. I think because Man of Steel wasn't necessarily received as well, characters like this and Zod are just not that highly desirable among collectors. That being said, you cannot overlook the flawlessness of this piece. Following up with another character from another flawed film is the Mandarin from Iron Man 3. Possibly one of the worst gotcha moments in the MCU I think hurt the notoriety of this figure. The craftsmanship on this Sir Ben Kingsley head sculpt is stupid good. From the older skin texture to the shocking realistic sculpt on that beard, this figure does not get the love that it should. Okay, let's get to the DX11, the Joker from The Dark Knight. While the main sculpt is fantastic in its own right, it's the laughing head sculpt that really steals the show. The smile lines, the teeth, the faded and muddled face paint, this thing is unbelievable. When you have this piece in hand, you can almost hear Heath Ledger's laugh, and I think that would put a smile on his face. Now this next figure, while I'm not a honk of the franchise by any means, is certainly still one of Hot Toys' best. That being the Battle Damage Robocop figure, the MMS-265. Released in 2015, this sculpt, done by once again the great Yuli, is an almost perfect representation of Peter Weller as Alex Murphy's Robocop. In all actuality, I'm not sure what's more impressive, the head sculpt or the tooling on the body alone. Regardless, you know why this figure racks up such a pretty penny on the secondary market. Next, we have everyone's favorite swashbuckler, the iconic and enigmatic Captain Jack Sparrow. This DX-15 is truly the final evolution of the Jack Sparrow figures from Hot Toys. While the first Jack from At World's End was released in 2009, it would take nine DX releases later to get this amazing sculpt. With Dead Men Tell No Tales being Jack's last foray onto the silver screen, this could very well be the final Jack Sparrow Hot Toys that we do receive. And if that is the case, I think it is safe to say that Hot Toys truly gave us a sculpt worthy of Johnny Depp's portrayal of our favorite pirate. Our next figure on this list is actually still trying to make its way into collector's hands as of the moment of this recording, that being in-game Captain America. When the product announcement for this figure was made, we were told we'd be getting a new head sculpt. After the debacle of the Mark 85 Tony Stank head sculpt, I don't think any of us were expecting very much. But all I can say now is wow. This is by far the best Steve Rogers head sculpt we've ever had. It is so good, I actually feel guilty using the mast head sculpt on my figure. Lucky for me, I have a few other Captain America bodies that I'm able to use it on, and boy, does it look good. Let's show a little love for the ladies, shall we? That being said, the only female sculpt to make my list is, of course, Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. While this movie, in my opinion, flat out sucked, you cannot deny that Margot Robbie was perfect casting. 
And speaking of perfect, Hot Toys put out one of the best, if not the best, female sculpt ever. Stepping away from expressionless faces, we get full-on emotion. This character just oozes quirky charisma. While we may get more Harley figures in the future, I think it's safe to say that this figure is an all-timer. It's no surprise who holds the number two spot for me. It's Mary Poppins, y'all. That's right, Yandu from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 takes home the silver medal. The smirk, the veins, the scruff on the neck and chin, all in that killer blue hue makes this a centerpiece to many people's collection. If you want a mini Michael Rooker on your shelf, this is the perfect figure for you. Now, before we get into the big reveal, I think it's important that we do stop to give a few honorable mentions. Those being Grand Moff Tarkin, Count Dooku, and Thanos. Hot Toys always seems to have a knack for old men and aliens, and these sculpts are definitely some standouts. But the standout, the greatest Hot Toy sculpt of all time is... You can call me Joker. And as you can see, I'm a lot happier. That's right, Joker. Jack Nicholson's iconic portrayal of the clown prince of crime from Batman 1989. It is that portrayal that has yielded possibly, in my mind, the greatest sculpt Hot Toys has ever given us. From the cheeky smile to the sadistic teeth, this thing is just downright creepy. I used to always think that Yondu was the greatest head sculpt of all time until I held this one in my hand. With Nicholson having likeness rights issues, we may never see a head sculpt like this ever again. And that, among many reasons, is why this is Hot Toys' greatest sculpt of all time. Well, that's going to do it for my list, but let me know. What did I miss? What did you think was insane that I ended up picking? What is your favorite? Let me know down in the comments.